Hi, my name is Profi, and in today's video I'm very happy to announce the new Easter slash Pentecost collection. And uh, this collection should prove useful to every organist who's looking for some easy to play or fast to learn pieces for the Easter and Pentecost season. And yeah, I'm very happy to announce all the, uh, to announce the book today and present all the pieces included in it in this video. The new Easter and Pentecost collection consists of 10 of my own pieces. And if you should decide to order a book like this, I'm also very happy to sign your book or dedicate it to someone or to yourself if you like. And uh, as you can see, the books are hand numbered again and will not be restocked. So if it's sold out, there is only the PDF version available. The first piece of this new collection will be a very festive prelude on Jesus Christ is Risen Today, the perfect prelude for Easter basically, or postlude if you like. And it's very festive, very loud, very fanfare-like, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Following this very loud and mighty prelude on Jesus Christ is Risen today, we will hear a concerto on a German hymn, actually, which is called Das ist der Tag, den Gott gemacht. And it's a very uh, common hymn here in Germany, a very beloved one. And maybe you recognize the tune, so it might be known in your country as well. This uh, concerto is a bit less uh, in your face, basically and um, it's very joyful nevertheless. I hope you enjoy it.
following these very festive pieces, there will be another festive and joyful piece, but this one is a trio. So this basically means it's a bit less uh, demanding on the ear and um, more a lighter character and very joyful. And this piece is the trio on the Duke Street tune. I hope you enjoy it. Following this very joyful and uh, playful trio on Duke Street, we will hear two other very powerful pieces. It's Easter, after all. So uh, the next piece will be the fanfare on Elacoum, or however it's pronounced, or the Day of Resurrection, which is probably more known as a name of the tune. And um, following this fanfare, there will be the Easter Toccata, which was played on the Kuhn organ, if I remember correctly, in Heidelberg. And Heidelberg actually was one of the most impressive cities I've seen, with the old town center and all the wonderful churches there. I really enjoyed the time there, and if you ever should visit Germany or be in Germany, Heidelberg is definitely worth a visit. As well as Görlitz, of course, in Saxony, but... Heidelberg is wonderful too. I hope you will enjoy these two pieces.
Well, after hearing these very festive and loud and Easter-like pieces, there is time for the Pentecost uh, section of the book, basically. And this section starts with a mighty march, which is based on the American National Anthem. You will hear it very shortly. And following this, this loud and festive march, there will be the Cantabile in D major, which is one of the quiet pieces of the book, which fits Pentecost very well, in my opinion. I hope you enjoy them.
after hearing this very quiet and flowy cantabile in D major, it's time for another fanfare again, or let's say three fanfares, because I've decided to include the three short fanfares uh, selection to this book as well. And these uh, very short minute pieces basically are perfectly suited as a prelude, which is supposed to be short, or a short interlude or a short postlude, however you would like to use it basically. And uh, I hope these short pieces will be useful and I hope that you will enjoy them as well. After listening to these three short fanfares, it's time to look at the two last pieces of the book already, which are both based on the very famous Pentecost tune Veni Creator Spiritus, and um, it's a Latin tune or chant, I think, and uh, I really love it. I mean, it's, it's wonderful and you can do everything with it, basically. So the first piece is a meditation and the second piece will be a toccata, but let's take a look at the meditation first.
Well, that's the meditation on Veni Creator Spiritus, which is basically showing all the fire flames coming down from the skies and uh, the people talking in all the languages. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's already time for the last piece of the book, which is a Toccata again, of course. I mean, <laughs> it's Easter and Pentecost after all. And this Toccata will be played on the wonderful Hauptwerk sample set or Hauptwerk uh, installation basically in Bochum, which um, also the meditation was played on, which is very beautiful. It's such a joy to play such a large instrument there. And I really enjoyed the time there. Thank you, Jörg, if you watched this. <laughs> and um, well, before listening to this uh, Toccata, it's time to say thank you basically to all you viewers out there who are watching the video and uh, liking them, commenting them. I'm very happy to, to see all your responses to the videos and um, yeah, please keep doing that. I'm very happy to see it. And if you would like to get a copy of this book, there is a link in the description down below which lets you choose uh, the printed version, the printed version and a PDF file or just the digital version as a PDF basically. And um, please also uh, write me a short email or comment in the uh, contact section of the website if you'd like me to sign or dedicate your book and I will get in touch. So, the last piece is the Toccata on Vini Creator and um, well, I hope you will enjoy that one and I will see you next Tuesday in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you.